Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. Brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum. This is Brother Ipe speaking from Productive Muslim. Just wanted to quickly say first of all, Jazakallah care for your support and comments on the Productive Muslim page. Alhamdulillah, it's your comments and feedback that keeps us going, mashallah. Um, Brother Muhammad, the fan of Productive Muslim, he's gone to Medina, mashallah. And he's going to be back soon. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him a safe trip. This is my chance to present to you a unique project within Productive Muslim. It's called Productivity Poetry, where we combine the art of poetry and the powerful buzzword Productive to come up with a very powerful way of spreading this whole concept of productivity. Okay? And whenever I formally introduce a project, I like to talk about its vision. I like to talk about the why factor. Okay? And the vision for Productivity Poetry, it is. Can you guess? Yes, it's to revive this Ummah, it's to make this Ummah a productive Ummah. Okay, so it's got exactly the same vision as productive Muslim. Okay, we want to create a legacy so that on the Day of Judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with us. So that our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is smiling at us. So that we can get lots and lots and lots of good deeds. And we can um, get the highest ranks in Jannah for all the effort we're putting in this dunya, inshallah ta'ala. Okay, and um, I want to apologize now. I'm sorry for not putting up any poetry on the Productive Muslim page. I've been so caught up with exams. It was my final year. I was studying maths. Ouch. I know. It's crazy. Especially because I'm doing poetry and writing. How does that work? Allah knows best. Okay, so inshallah, we're looking to turn it into a daily routine so that every day you get poetic inspiration and poetic productivity okay on the productivity poetry section of the website we're looking to put your poetry on there as well so you get your work published okay in terms of getting your work published there's gonna be a strict criteria okay it's gonna follow three points okay the poems they have to link with the website articles so that means you're gonna have to go in do some research and read some articles I'm sure you have already mashallah but it's just to um, make sure some productivity, okay? And that's specific with the Productive Muslim brand because I'm sure there's many productive poets out there, and many productive writers. So the second point I was going to talk about is the commentary section, which really gives the writers a unique chance to um, present their writing skills, okay? And in the commentary section, you can talk about why you wrote the poem and what inspired you. Okay, you can give some practical advice because Productive Muslim, as we know, it's about giving practical advice. Advice that you can act upon instantly. Okay? And then the third point is you have to include a picture because a picture, it speaks a thousand words. Okay, it gives a very powerful visual tool. And something that I always say to people, if you're opening up a Facebook page, you have to include a picture. Okay? Because a picture catches the eye. Whereas if you just write a bunch of text, it can be difficult sometimes to, you know, make it stand out among a lot of other texts that you see. Okay? So submit it to us and we look forward to hearing from you. And um, before I go, um, just telling you that we're launching a productive productivity ebook. Okay, it's gonna launch this year inshallah, so stay tuned. And um Jazakallah care for listening and inshallah we'll speak to you soon. Okay? Keep us in your du'as. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept every word that I've said. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your listening. Ameen. Thank you for listening. Asla alaikum.